Oh. What's up, cats? I'm Electric Jazz Cat, aka EJ. Okay, we got good news and we got bad news. The good news is your boy got his chair so his tushy doesn't have to hurt anymore. The bad news is Wi Fi is going and it's pissing me off, bro. Also, we got more furniture because, of course, I got my chair. I got my cat, Kiki. I don't know where he is now. He was walking around getting his exercise. Um, yeah. Oh my. And I forgot to turn this thing off from auto. Give me one second because I don't know how loud it's going to be. baby okay before he had me where I'm like barely in frame now you got me like going Oi, over it also about to record I'm glad I noticed I didn't it, for some reason like desktop and mic was like disconnected so that would have been stupid of me just going and no game, like, whatever. I'm gonna record this real quick while I have some free time before I'm off to my next thing. I trained both these guys up to level 10. I was really sad because they were also Puchianas and I love Puchiana. Um, so in the last episode, yeah, grinded that after the last episode and I believe we're supposed to help uh, the nerd professor guy, but I just wanted to see what was over here. If anybody gives me anything I'm having a vague memory that the forest we're about to go into is like really hard. Can I step on this? Okay. Why? Why give me a like say don't step on it if I can't even actually step on it? Okay. But let's um, because I recall there like being a lot of poison type Pokemon, something like that. Oh, what's this? Was this the lab that we ran before? Okay, it is. All right. Off to the forest. Potentially new encounter. How many balls we got? Nine. All right. EJ, you won't believe this, but these guys won't let me get into the milkshake swamp. Nobody enters the swamp. Go do something else instead. Still preying on innocent travelers. Team Fusion, I never thought you'd stop so low. Wasn't this guy like a gym? I've already run off the rest of your gang in the swamp already, so you have no reason to stay here. Of course, if you have any need to protect, my dark cry is itching for a battle. Or maybe he's Elite Four. <laughs> Our objectives here are complete. We'll be taking our leave now. Did those grunts harm you? No, thank goodness. I'm sorry, but let me introduce myself. My name is Blake, and I'm a member of the Tonone Elite Four. I've taken it upon myself to protect travelers such as you at any expense. Just out of curiosity, why are both of you going to the Milkshake Swamp? Actually, if he's got a dark eye, then I've got to make him sound like big. <clears throat> Did anyone ask? You know, it's not exactly the most fun place to be. I was curious about some of the ruins in Swamp. EJ was going to escort me to them. And in case wild Pokemon attack, I don't have any Pokemon, you see. Team Fusion, those men preventing you from entering the Swamp were poking around those so same ruins. Allow me to escort you there myself. Okay, I can make sure I frighten them off. I'm sure EJ wouldn't want to be hanging around with two adults anyway. You've just begun as a trainer. Continue to keep striving for your dreams, and rest assured, they'll come true. One day, we may even battle. Come, inventor. Scientific exploration awaits. Okay. But for me, it's a new encounter. Is this a difference in grass? Or should I go in the swampy area? Maybe I'll get, like, a water-type Pokemon, which I could probably use more. But then, I think there's Ekans in here, and Toxicroaks. Freaking, I'm doing the grass. About to be a worm pull. Oh, hey, Toxicroak! I'll take it. Or Crogut. Who the heck's Toxicroak? Does it evolve him? I'm rusty on my Pokemon. All right, lit. And he's level seven. See, I'm glad I leveled up to level ten. Okay, don't have Thunder Wave. I don't. Thunder Shock shouldn't kill. I know we're three levels above, but yeah. Alright, um, we could hit it again, but if we do crit, he's gonna die. So let's just throw a Pokeball. Come on, Krogun. You know I got a special place in my heart for my poison-type Pokemon. There we go. 
All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Croca, the toxic mouth Pokemon. It rarely fights fairly, but that is strictly to ensure survival. It is popular as a mascot. Give a nickname? All right. Uh, I'm going to call you... Call you Brock, because Brock had one. In, uh, in Gen 4. Look at the baby. It's just laying on the floor. All right. Well, I'm going to take the experience share from my boy Bobby and uh, give it to Brock so he can uh, catch up with the gang. Also, do want to give a big shout out to all the support you guys gave me on episode 1. I know episode 1s usually do good in, in general, but it's always nice to still see the support come through. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. See, he said something about Poison Ivy. Antidote. I'm going to need that. So what? Like, if I touch this? Oh, okay. Alright, what you got? For the love of bug types. <laughs> Get it? The love of bug types. Pokemon humor. Alright, let's, uh... Wow, we couldn't... We couldn't Oko a Caterpie? What's going on, Sparks? Let's go, Bobby. You know what? Let me... I, I raised the, the game music... Um, at the end, because it sounded a bit soft, but now my microphone's a little bit farther away from me because I'm a little bit higher, so I'm just going to save some lower a little bit. All right, let's peck. Nice, dude. Bobby, this this, this going to be all you. It's going to be all you. You got this, Bobby. Shroomish, not bad, but it's... Okay. Quad week. No, it's not yet quad week to fly, and it hasn't evolved yet. Duh. Money, EJ, step up your game. Anyway, I'm a, I'm a super excited for school. Um, I am going to be a teacher's assistant, and I have been given the role to be like the um, the YouTube side of things, as well as a librarian, which is super cool, because I'm like, this is perfect. I've already have experience doing this. So there's like a special Twitter and stuff, and like, you know, be like, hey, come check out the band. Here's a 30 second clip, yada, yada, yada. And I'll be honest, I don't think I'm the best at that. If I had to think of out of my whole YouTube friends of like who's the best at doing that and who's the person I see do the most, it's gotta be Soda Fizz. It's gotta be Soda. Not to say that other people don't grind and, and do it, but Soda not only is on top of it so much and like does it twice, like when he streams, he has his bot do it and then he does it. Um, but you can look in his Discord and whatever in his tweets, he'll promote it. Or he'll be like, you know, just so you know, Soda Fizz family, this is coming out. And then later he'll be like, this new series dropped, blah, blah, blah. So, i see you, Soda. And now I'm going to get more experience with my job because I'll get paid for it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but my uh, my professor was also saying that, you know, you guys... There's the Ekans. He was saying, um, you'll, you'll be getting busy. Like, really busy. So, which is... I'm still waiting for that to see that happen, but you know, school is yet to officially start. We're still having like the, um, not tutorials, but like, um, what's the word? Huh? Orientation. Orientation, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's swap, because I don't want to fight this Pichu with my birdie. He's tickling me. Let's tackle him. And we got paralyzed again. Okay, lovely. Um, what do you know? But you're also fighting, so if they have a fairy type move, I don't know. I would assume fairy typing's in the game. Tokapi will stay in. Just, just keep growling. All right, lit. We're gonna leave the forest and go heal, because I think that was a mistake I made when I played this off screen back in the day. I heard Tanglas was I was like, I don't need to heal. I'm good, and then like. I died or something. I don't know. It's a bit of, a little bit of big memory. I do recall having a Dragonite as well in the old uh, Nuzlocke run, so I'm hoping to get it again. My boy Danny. This is what they were talking about. The poison ivy. Okay, Bobby was poisoned. Lovely. 28 steps. Okay, we're not stepping on any poison ivy this time. Mm -mm. A 
I wonder if shiny odds were increased. That would be amazing. Get myself a shiny Ekans. Okay. So, you can either take the Poison Ivy route, which is faster, or you can go around with the trainers. I'm gonna go around. Okay. And look at that, we're here. What is this? I'm not touching it. Uh, let's see. Did anyone ask? Uh, EJ. Thing is big, he, he, sometimes he does like a lot of different voice impressions. Like, he'll be like, Observe! Or he'll be like, Oh! <laughs> you came at just the right time, as I suspected. Another grunt snuck back while our backs returned. Look up there, by that table. That's a table or tablet? I have a thing for mixing up those words. He seems very suspicious. He must be up to no good. Do you want to see a member of the Elite Four in action? EJ, come with me. Then, inventor. It's best you stay here, where it's safe. I thought I ran you scum off with your tail between your legs. <laughs> I snuck back here to get the information I was employed to find. They will welcome me back at headquarters, like a hero. I have no time to play with games with the Pokemon League now. So long, idiots. What the frick? This tablet! Are you two alright? You scared off that grunt good and proper, it seems. Wow, amazing. Mm. I'm done here for now. It's getting nasty. Thank you, Blake and EJ, for assisting me. Please take this. I don't know what that says or what the heck that is. Is that Pokecom? That Pokecom is a device of my own invention. It translates Pokemon's speech into human speech and vice versa. Hopefully it'll help you on your journey. Text translated with the Pokecom will be displayed with this color text. I'll be going to my home now. I'll be much happier than where I can work in peace. See you around. These ruins are amazing. Why are they here? What? What happened? Did I slip through the universe again? It's the guy! Oh. I thought I heard a commotion. Do you remember me? My name is Luke. I was the one who brought you back to your room last time. As I predicted, you managed to slip through again. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'll have to hold off explaining again. Would you mind helping me? I'm looking for a mudkip that's wandered off. It's somewhere around here, but I can't find it. Anywhere. I appreciate it if you could look around for me. If you find it, I'll explain what's happening as best I can. I completely forgot. Let me heal your Pokemon for you. Thank you. Does this count as a new area? Green Swamp. Milkshake Swamp. It does! Can I get anything? I see you, Mudkip, but just give me a second. Can I... No? No? Okay. Well, can I catch your Mudkip? Oh, a little bit of a chaser, are we? Thing over here. Lumberry. That's good. Come here, my kip. Okay. What do you want me to do? Spam A. Or did he go over here? Oh, there he is. He attacked. Can we catch it? I'd love to have a mudkip on the team. Mudkip, man! Um, quick attack. Oh my gosh, he knows rock throw. Okay. Um, mud slap. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. There we go. He can keep missing, and I'll keep lowering his health little by little. Three, four, five. That's enough, actually. Um, shout out to the rain with the rain dish ability. <laughs> All right. Come on, baby. Ooh, you are going to be tough to catch. Well, in that case, I'm just going to do one more mud slap. All right. Come on. Come on, Mudkip. 
Gen 3 homie, right? Gen 3 homie. That's all we got? We we found our stick. We found, you know, Metamex got the one, two, suave blue. Sleepy's got his stay in the ball. Gen 3 homie is our stick. Mudkip, the mudfish Pokemon. On land, it can powerfully lift large boulders by planting its four feet and... Having? 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 It sleeps by burying itself in soil at the water's edge. Uh, I don't know. What do you call him, Mudkip? I call you Ralph. Which is the first thing that pops in my head is what I'm naming these. Click! EJ, excellent work. The portal to your universe is working again, but you have to hurry before it shuts again. I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Get to the portal. Okay. Cool. I'll take a mudkip. Does anybody else do anything? Anything? Ooh, golden radio. Shout out to Gen 2. All right. Take the long way around. Don't worry, I'll, I'll cut this out for you guys. Okay. Well, I don't know what else we're supposed to do next. Um, I might even level up these guys some more to like 15 or so. I'll do some grinding in the forest. Um, so either way, that's going to do it for today's video. If you can't enjoy like the video that you have enjoyed, be, do, be sure to do so by hitting the like button. So... Hit the like down below, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends. Also, check out the new co-op project that's going on um, with me, Soda, and Dan. Uh, upload series for that is Soda's channel, Danny's mine. Yeah, it's the last and final co-op, so make sure you give that some love. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!